Okay, uh, we're going to continue. Uh, we've got it up running on our Arcos tablet, but um, we need to make some changes, and it's easier to change it in the virtual machine and just copy the image over again. So we're going to run uh, the, the same command we ran earlier with two minor differences. Um, earlier, uh, we were using the Debian image, and here we're going to want to boot into our new root FS image. So that's one change. And also, since we got rid of all the partitions, we want to change this from SDA1 to just SDA because it, we're just, there's just the, the main partition and that's it. If you do one, it's not going to be able to find the partition and you're going to get errors. So we're going to change it to our new image and we're going to change it to uh, the correct um, uh, partition or drive. Okay, so we're going to boot here. Uh, shouldn't take too long, and we should get to the log on screen, log in screen, just as we did on the tablet. Except for since we're working in the virtual machine, we have an actual physical keyboard. Uh, once again, some of the Arcos tablets, Archos, Arcos, I think it's Arcos, I always say Archos, but Arcos, um, they have USB ports that you can plug a keyboard into, I believe. Uh, the the uh, 7 or the 70 tablet that I have does not. Um, but we're going to work on a virtual keyboard in the next tutorial. So here we are. Uh, we're going to log in as Debian user. And uh, we're going to change, well, we'll log in as GNOME first. And we'll see. I'm going to just type in my password, Debian, log in. And the default uh, desktop environment uh, is going to be uh, the GNOME desktop environment, which is one of your more bulky uh, desktop environment. So it's going to take a little while to load, especially since it's our first time logging in. I think it's got to create some configuration files. So future logins might be a little bit faster, but probably not much more. So on a 256 megabyte machine, it's probably not the desktop environment you want to be running, which is why we're going to be changing that uh, in this tutorial. Um, and we'll be running the Matchbox desktop. But of course, you can pick any desktop environment you want, or window manager, I guess I should say, um, uh, such as Fluxbox, LXDE, um, even XFCE, which really isn't all that much lighter than GNOME. I mean, it is, but not by much. Um, but Matchbox is very nice for, for touch screens, tablets, and smaller devices. Um, and so that's what I'm going with here, but I'm going to let this finish loading. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to click System. I'm going to go down to Administration, and I'm going to click Login Screen. And right here, I click this little shield to make changes. And type in our root password, which in this case is Debian, or whatever you set up when you create your original image. Now I'm going to click, you know, Login as and I'm going to choose our Debian user and we're going to log in automatically and that's it so now we can close on that now when the system reboots it should automatically log in to whatever the default uh, desktop environment we choose is which we're going to change here in a moment but before we go and do that we're going to um, create a sudo user or enable sudo user for uh, the Debian user so I'm going to click here I'm going to go and I'm going to go down here to terminal. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, obviously, we can't sudo yet because we haven't added Debian to the sudo user. Now, if you didn't install, uh, by default, I don't think a very base Debian has sudo installed. Um, it does seem to be installed here, but I think that might be because we installed the GNOME desktop environment. Might have added it in there with the meta package. Um, but we're just going to type in su to become root and type in our your password, in this case Debian. And um, now we're going to edit the sudoers file, uh, which we're going to do using a program called vi sudo, uh, which actually opens up like a nano type environment here. Actually, it is nano. And we're going to add in a line here first off. Now, this part is completely optional. You don't have to do this, and you may not want to do this. In normal circumstances, I would not recommend doing this because this is a security risk, uh, security danger here. 
um, we're going to disable the password for um, our sudo user. We're going to leave a password for our user Debian so that if we set up an SSH server, it's still secure. People can still log in using a password. But once you're logged in to do stuff as sudo, which is similar to root, it's not exactly the same, but similar, um, you don't need to type a password. Just because on a tablet, you may not want to type in a password every time. And especially uh, reading through the documentation over at the ArcosGenerations.com website, um, there uh, seems to be an issue with networking where some networking stuff doesn't work unless you're running, like if you try to open up your web browser and you're not uh, uh, sudo, it doesn't seem to want to connect. Um, I haven't really played with it. That's just going based on the documentation here. Hopefully, once I get this all set up, I can play with it more. But basically, once again, this is optional, up to you. Think about it carefully. Is someone going to be able to have access to your tablet? Because if so, they're going to have root privileges. And also, you have to be careful when you download files, because now anything you download and anything you do can be done as sudo without a password being typed in. It is a big security issue here. But just for ease of use in this tutorial and to show you how to do it, we're adding in this line. Um, uh, percent sudo all capital all equals no password colon space all and that will mean that none of the sudo users will need to type in a password. Uh, control X to save that, Y to say yes to save the file. Um, and now we just need to add Debian to the sudo users. Right now if I go sudo and just say something like list, oh I'm root right now. If I do sudo list it's going to ask for my password but if i type it in it's going to say debian is not in the sudo's file uh so we're going to go back to being root here for a second and uh we're going to say add user debian so we're adding the debian user to a group and that's going to be the sudo group obviously you have to be root to do that or sudo but you couldn't be sudo without being root until now now, if I type in exit and type in sudo list, it's going to do the same thing as before. I type in my password, and it says Debian is not found in the sudo user's file. Um, and the reason for that is we need to log out and log back in. There might be a way to do it without logging out and logging back in, but I'm not 100% sure uh, um, you know, what that is right now. And I do know logging out and logging back in does work. So we're going to log out. Plus, we're going to want to do this anyway because we're going to want to change our desktop environment to the Matchbox uh, environment. Um, and as I said in previous tutorials, it's not the prettiest environment by default. But I've seen people make themes that uh, make it look pretty nice. So don't be turned off necessarily by how it looks. Its functionality is great. We're going to click Debian here as the user. But down here where it says System Default, we're going to change it to Matchbox. And then we're going to type in our password. Now also, since we installed the GNOME desktop environment, um, we have that uh, GDM3 running in the background for our login. And uh, it runs in the background still after we log into Matchbox. So there are other ways to get Matchbox running without having GNOME installed, which is probably a little uh, more system friendly, less system hungry, less resource hungry. So here we go. This is the Matchbox desktop environment. Um, uh, it has a clock down here. You can add other things to this panel, which we'll do in a later tutorial. It does have this menu here. There's got to be a way to update it, though, because it does not seem to have very much in there. But for the most part, you're not going to be using those menus. You're going to be using this up here, which right now we're under all. And you can see you can scroll through here. And uh, if we you see there's two little buttons up in the top left and right corner. They're kind of small, but since they're up in the top corner, they're relatively easy to click on your tablet, and they bring you through your different categories. Office, Internet, sound and video, graphics, games, programming, other, you know, if there's nothing in the category, it's empty. Um, accessories, but you can also click here and choose from a category. So really this, this uh, menu down at the bottom can actually probably be removed. It's kind of redundant and doesn't seem to even have the stuff in here that's supposed to have. Um, so, uh, now that we have done that, and we've, in, we've, uh, in this tutorial, we've added, uh, Debian to the sudo user, and we've changed our default environment and set it to auto login. Now we can go, um, here, and there's no 
logout option anywhere in here that I know. Um, but if we open up a terminal, we can now type in sudo and we can type in uh, restart or power off to, um, to either restart the computer. Maybe uh, restart isn't install. Oh, reboot, not reboot, not not restart, reboot. Yeah. Um, also, there's no logout. If for some reason you wanted to go back out to the logout login screen before we do a reboot, well, I'll show you that. Let's reboot first, and you'll see reboot. It's going to shut down. So that is. Uh, you can also create a shortcut yourself with that command in there to reboot and shut down, um, so that you don't have to go and type it each time. And since you, you're not requiring a pseudo password, you can just put that in a script, put a, a button uh, in the menu to link to that, which is something we might do in a future tutorial to make it easy to log in and out, uh, re at least reboot and, and shut down. Um, but you'll see here, uh, we will get the, the GNOME background and cursor here since we're running GM, uh, GDM3. But you can see we automatically log into Matchbox uh, without having to log in. Um, once again, completely optional to you. I just find it a pain in the butt to log into the tablet. But especially with you having no password for sudo user, could be a security issue. One more thing real quick. I think I'm running out of time here. Um, oops, go back here. Uh, if you wanted to get to the log login screen, um, one way of doing that from the command line, you can say sudo kill all xorg with a capital X. And that will kill X, just like uh, uh, in most environments, pressing Control backspace, um, which you can't really do in a virtual machine. Um, it does that, and it will bring us to our login screen here. Um, so that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description. There should be more information on uh, everything we were going over in this series uh, there. And I just hope that you have a great day.